What's up and welcome to the Cinepax YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be walking you through on how to use the scribble effects in Adobe Premiere. I'm going to show you how to edit just like this. If you guys want to check out some of our other tutorials in Final Cut or DaVinci Resolve, you can head over to our website or check them out here on YouTube in the specific playlist. Let's dive right in on how to use this pack. So I have the pack right here. Uh, here's the zip version. Once you download it, make sure to download them one at a time. If you want to unzip it, uh, I have 7-zip installed, so I can just click extract files here. If you're on a Mac, you should be able to just double click it. Uh, I prefer to use 7-zip. I think it's a little bit faster and more reliant than the uh, built-in Windows unzipping software. Uh, but if you like that one, be my guest, use it. Uh, so we have three different folders here and what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to select all these and I'm going to drag these straight into Adobe Premiere. Uh, that should be importing and we're going to get a little bit of an error right here because I have some PDFs in there for you guys. So in this first folder we have uh, the link to the tutorials. You probably already clicked that or you don't need it because you're watching the tutorial right now. And then right here you have a discount code for any future packs you guys want to grab 15% uh, off your next purchase. So now that we're in Adobe premiere we can go through these folders real quick um, so here's the one of three this one comes with objects and these are all transparent so the cool thing about these is these are ProRes 444 files and they are alpha so if I go to transparency grid uh, it's hard to see because it's on white but they are transparent so let me go ahead and turn that off because it's annoying so we can drag and drop these over any footage. So I'm just gonna drag and drop these in right here and look at that. So I am editing in a 4K timeline. If for some reason you're editing in a 1080p timeline and it looks like this, just right click and go scale to frame size and it'll scale it to the correct frame size for you. Or you can just zoom it out a little bit. Uh, I prefer to right click because uh, it gets it to that perfect size for you. So we have tons of objects and animations in here. I'm gonna go through these real quick. These are frames, you can just overlay these. And a lot of these files are loopable. So the cool thing we can do is right there, we can cut, then we can find out when it starts to disappear. I'm going frame by frame with my arrow keys here. And I'm gonna drag that out. And then I'm gonna hold Alt or Option, depending if you're on a Mac or PC. And we can just keep dragging these to make it go as long as we want so now when we play it it will continue to loop 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 and exit so pretty cool you can extend that to any speed that you would like and then if you don't want that all messy we can just uh right click and click nest i uh, have a shortcut for nest and now it's one piece so pretty cool uh those are the frames and you can do that with any um asset whether it's like this uh alien head here Let's say you want this guy to stay in a little bit longer because he animates out. Same thing, you would just find the in, find the out, drag it away, and then boom, you got a looping alien head. He does a little wink right there because I cut a little early, but I'm okay with that. Next up, we have accents. So these are cool little accents that you could just throw on your footage, and they kind of just give a little pop. Um, you can really do whatever you want. We got some cool little lines as well. These are just like some little accents. Uh, we're gonna play around with those. We're gonna do a cool edit. Let's move on to this second folder here. We got shapes. We got tons of shapes for you guys. These are some of my favorites too. Um, these are cool little markups. So quickly showing you guys how to use these. Um, I'm just playing around with the motion. We're gonna scale it down. If you don't like, let's say we want another one. We want it pointing from the other direction. What we can do is we can go into effects. We can type in the word flip, grab our good friend horizontal flip, and it did not work. So let's drag that up there. Now we'll let that play and we can just go ahead and move that up there. So if you see that, pretty cool. We got two points, two different ways it's uh, pointing at the subject, which is pretty cool. So. Horizontal flip, vertical flip, they're your friends for uh, making the assets look a little bit different and fitting your scene a lot better. Let's keep going through these though. So we have a lot of cool stuff, a lot of markup, like scribbly type effects. Uh, we got some hearts in here, we got some lines. I like these, these are kind of like frames, but uh, we put them in shapes. You can definitely make some really cool, uh, like let's say we go like this. Let's delete that old frame you can easily scale down your footage 
or if you want it zoomed in, you could just draw a quick little mask around your subject and boom, look at that. So that's pretty cool. I definitely like that. You can, uh, in the promo, I actually put like a few different uh, frames in uh, with it. And we have a lot of cool X's as well. These are cool, just little accent marks that you can put wherever. Um, and you can actually track these in After Effects. So I'll probably do an After Effects video separately, which would be pretty fun. Uh, show you guys some advanced techniques. But right now I'm just kind of breezing through and showing you guys what comes in the pack. Transitions, these are super easy to use. Um, I'm not even gonna time this and boom, we got a transition just like that. I'm gonna see it again. And let's leave that old one and boom, transition just like that. Uh, those are pretty straightforward. You just drag them, you drop them, you're good to go. Um, and then we got letters, guys. So this is one thing we wanted to add as well. I'll write the artist's name. I'm just gonna write Sui. So we have the S. I'm gonna go ahead and probably drag that here. And then let's go ahead and find a U, drag that right next to him, keep it in the middle, and let's find the I. And we'll drag that up there. So you have effects just like this. So it's kind of fast. If you like that look, uh, you can just keep it and you can just, like I said before, just duplicate it uh, to extend the time so you can keep it all as one. Um, if you do want to slow it down, what I would do, and even if you have it duplicated, if you like the speed, I would nest it. So once it's nested, uh, you just right click to nest. And then you can actually, I just grabbed the rate stretch tool right here and I slowed it down. So you could get more of a choppy look uh, to it and you can play around with it, whatever you like. The cool thing about this is you can animate it still since they're all uh, sandwiched together in like a little sequence. We can scale it up. Whatever you want to do with it, you can animate it, have lots of fun with it. Um, saves you a lot of time with the animation. Like if you did this by hand, it would probably take quite a while because you'd have to draw one every four frames. So we have uh, all these, we have uh, the numbers, some extra arrows, all sorts of stuff in here. And then we also have the light version. So I'll show you a difference between the light. Let me see if I can find the S. Um, so you can see it's not a scribbly, it's just one layer. Uh, whereas this one is like three squiggle layers. So it really depends on your preference. Uh, I like the heavy ones, but uh, feel free to use any of them. So another cool thing we can do is let's talk about changing colors of these effects. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this effect called tint. And what we wanna do is map white to, and then we can select any color. So we could go dark red and boom, just like that we have dark red as our uh, font color. So super simple, super easy, just like that. So let's get into animating with these effects and how to make some cool stuff. So first, let's go ahead. I think I wanna grab some shapes for his eyes. Let's go find some X's. We have some X eyes in here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab those bad boys. Uh, I'm gonna reset that right there, delete that mask, or I'm just gonna delete the clip. So let's say we want these to come up. What we can do is we can do a position, scale, and rotation. We can scale that down, way more down, and kind of guess where his eyes are gonna be. And we'll just keep that on his pupil. His head's rotating just a little bit. I'm trying to grab that rotation button, there we go follow those eyes we're gonna scale up just a little bit maybe yep there we go keep those pupils covered and I'm just going frame by frame here frame by frame maybe we should rotate just a tad what I like to do is I'll just duplicate this so I'm holding alt or option on the keyboard and we'll watch it so far looking good and we're gonna start disappearing now so I'm gonna bring this back over and keep following them. And boom, we're gone. So play that through. So let's go ahead and put these uh, wings on him like I did in that. Let's go with these angel wings right here. And so let's move frame by frame here and just kind of see where these wings would grow. Where these wings would go, let's go scale, position, rotation. Let's rotate these bad boys just a little bit and let's follow these movements. 
try and do this simple without masking let's not get advanced here let's make it easy this is a sketchy drawing it's not a picasso it is a fun little doodle this is not too serious so let's have fun with it the camera's rotating so we're going to follow with them um, and what i would recommend is locking your video layer so you don't actually move it like i just did and we're gonna rotate a little bit more. We gotta find that rotate, there we go. Hope you guys, we're still going. Here we go, we're almost done. You know what, we're just gonna switch to shoulders now. It's not that serious. And boom, goodbye wings. It's not that bad. We don't have to put it behind his body. If we did, what I would do is it's so quick and I'm gonna have so much other stuff going on I don't really care but if you care be my guest you would want to draw out his body with a little mask a little mask action guys go for it and then you would go mask path and you'd move frame by frame and then you would hide it I guess I'm doing it I guess this is what we're doing now I'm doing it really quick. It's got to get smaller. See, this is why I hate masks. It's a lot easier if you do this in After Effects, but who wants to go to After Effects? Not me. There we go. There we go. Goodbye, wings. Bam. Does that look better? Uh, honestly, I would probably... I'm going to nest this because I don't want to remask everything. I would probably move it up a little higher. So, yeah, I mean, I would mask a little bit more of his arms and shoulders and stuff, but you guys get the point. Um, I really like these chain assets right here. The barbed wire is pretty sick, too. Uh, that's definitely one of my favorites. So, like, we could have that barbed wire come in. You could even use it as, like, a little... We could have it go like this, and then we could even have it go, like, on the top, like, some cinematic bars. Definitely really easy to get some cool effects without that much work. You can apply any effects you want to these uh, overlays as well since they're transparent. So if you have plugins, you can add glow, you can add hollow matrix. Uh, even VR glow works from, uh, even VR glow works. You see we get a nice little subtle glow to it. Um, like crazy stuff from Red Giant works as well. Like, you know, the classic hollow matrix. We'll get like some crazy looking um, barbed wire assets. So you can really uh, finesse these and play with these however you want. Uh, let's go ahead and grab uh, some more effects in here. Uh, the transitions are always a great way to start in. Like let's say we're transitioning from this scene. Let's go ahead and cut while we have the eyes open. Let's go ahead and move these bad boys right here. And boom, let's go ahead and play that. So we got a little star, eyes, boom, we get the barbed wire, we get the little angel wings, and let's say we get a swirly durly right there. I'm going to go ahead and speed that up, and so he's all hyped, and then maybe like right when he throws his hand, we're out. We're going to black. We're starting over. Bam. Look at that. Cool. All right, let's go through some more assets that we got in here. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. If you guys did not purchase this pack and you're just hanging out and watching, feel free to go check out the sample pack. It's got some free assets for you guys. Uh, but yeah, we also plan to do some updates to this in the near future. So if you do have any random suggestions, we'd love to hear them and consider adding them to the pack uh, because we are going to do an update eventually. So check your emails for that. They will come in whenever uh, you'll get emailed and we'll post on Instagram as well when we do do it. Um, there's a cool little accent right there, a little pop. Uh, we have more accents right here. We can add like, let's check out this rap accent. So what we can do is we want to go scale, position, rotation. We're going to scale it down. We're going to wrap up his whole body. Why not? We're going to scale down and we're going to start at his legs. Um, we're going to scale that up. And let's start back at the beginning. Looks pretty good. Looks like it's going around his body. You see it, it's already kind of like masked out in a sense. Uh, let's make sure to lock that layer so we don't play around with it. And we're going up his body. Looks like we need to scale up just a tad. Uh, we're going up. We're going up. We're going up. Oh, man, that looks cool. 
and we're gonna come down a little bit just so we're not going over his head we're gonna scale down a tad bit as well we're staying on his body and we can even go a little bit smaller we can rotate just a tad because the camera is moving backwards and look at that pretty cool uh, I probably would have started smaller so it's kind of like coming down a little bit which is kind of weird but you guys get the idea you can do this close up on like legs arms uh, any like object that you want to climb up of we have a bunch of those um, so you can look at all these right here they're definitely really cool and easy to use um, so yeah that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions feel free to comment down below if you don't have this pack check out the free one and we have tons of other free packs as well I'm Tyler Casey with Cinepax. I really appreciate you guys watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.